Hi, this is Brian Knight from Pragmatic Works, and today I'm here to talk about DTS migrations. Are you still running DTS? Well, here are some of the main reasons that you can get off as fast as you can. First of all, supportability. Microsoft is no longer supporting DTS as an ETL tool. They have now converted this over to SQL Server Integration Services Team. So, as in their newest release, SQL Server 2012, DTS is no longer part of backwards compatibility, as well as it's no longer part of the product support cycle. So if you want to get support from Microsoft on DTS, you're going, to have, you're going to be a little bit out of luck. The second piece is speed. DTS is much slower than the, what replaced it, Integration Services. SSIS, or Integration Services, is over 65% faster than DTS with minimal to no changes at all in the package. The last reason is talent. It's become very difficult to find talent that still know how to do TTS. The product is years and years old, back from the 2000, uh, back in the early 90s in some cases. So finding talent that can do DTS, my, uh, DTS still is becoming especially difficult. And finding new talent that actually wants to join you uh, when your company does DTS is even more difficult. So getting off DTS is important. Pragmatic Works offers a number of ways to do this for you. One of the ways is our DTS migration tool called DTS Exchange. This will automatically convert you, autom uh, convert you from DTS to SSIS. Or we also offer services as well. We can look at your DTS packages, and our first step is going to be to profile those DTS packages. This profiling step is going to uh, look at your environment and find out how complex those DTS packages are in the new environment, which providers are long, long, longer supported, and other things, and it gives you a timeline out of that. After we profile the packages, we then will convert them. The conversion process is very, very simple. Uh, it's, we, or we generally, the, 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 uh, pro, the profiling piece will actually estimate how long that each conversion will take. And after we convert each package, we'll want to go ahead and standardize it as well. So our standardization process is where we go through each package and make sure they look exactly the same, even if your DTS environment did not look exactly the same. This is part of our process in our program called DTS Exchange. We'll actually, as it looks at each package, make sure that package looks just like the package, the second package and third package. Also as part of that, we add an auditing framework so your operations team can, can look at those packages and find out exactly where something broke in production months or years later. The final step in this is validation. Now this is a joint effort. Our team will validate to make sure the package will work, but only your team knows what a successful criteria actually is. So we'll make sure the package runs in your environment, but the final check will come from you at that point to make sure the package actually works perfectly. But the pre-steps are all done by us, or as little or as much as you like. This is a little bit about our DTS migration offering. And again, we also offer a tool as well under DTS Exchange uh, that you'll find in the product section at Pragmatic Works. Hope to see you later. Bye-bye.